Um, there's not a lot of research on cost effectiveness of EMDR. There's only uh, two studies. But so far, uh, the position looks really good for EMDR on cost effectiveness. So in the two studies that we have, one was looking at patients with psychosis and uh, also PTSD. And in that study, the cost of providing EMDR um, was very low compared to the benefits for the individuals in that study. So the cost benefit was very good and compared to trauma focused CBT, it was better. So that was a good start. We also have a, a large network meta-analysis that was done in Britain. And in that one, EMDR is compared to 11 other trauma treatments and EMDR was found to be the most cost effective of all the trauma uh, treatments. Only those two studies, so it's very early days. But it's only recently, in the last few years, that societies that look at providing treatment guidelines have started to include cost effectiveness as a criteria for judging whether a treatment is recommended or not. So it's really early days. So the uh, NICE guidelines for PTSD, the last ones were the first to talk about cost effectiveness. The, uh, the results, well, it's, it's kind of it, interesting. So if you look at EMDR compared to the other 11 treatments, it came out as the most cost effective. Cost effectiveness is interesting because you can get something like trauma-focused CBT, which works, gets a large improvement of symptoms, but it's quite expensive to administer. And then if you get antidepressant medications like SSRIs, they don't give as big a treatment response but their cost effectiveness is better than trauma-focused CBT um, because it's much cheaper to deliver. So we've got like EMDR here as being the most cost effective. You've got something like SSRIs, which kind of here, trauma-focused CBT, which is here, and then supportive counseling is cost negative. Counseling costs more to deliver than society gets in terms of benefits from any improvements in the person's function. The only thing, uh, just that it's really early days that we only have those kind of like two studies and um, it's something that future research needs to pay a lot more attention to, to setting up those things because all the international guidelines will, I imagine, start to consider cost effectiveness when they look at it. So if EMDR wants to maintain its position as a recommended treatment for PTSD, it needs to do research in this area. Um, well, I have some colleagues in, um, in the Netherlands who are looking at doing a cost effectiveness for people with uh, a complex uh, PTSD. Um, that would be a study that would uh, take place across Europe and hopefully have an Australian arm as well. So we're looking at trying that, you know, maybe uh, 20, uh, 2024 probably.